my one-year-old for his birthday. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do what I got my one-year-old for his birthday. As a disclaimer, a lot of these products and toys were actually gifted to us by friends and family who attended his birthday party, so I didn't actually buy most of these. And we also got sent a Love Every Play Kit, which is one of the gifts that we gave Ezra, so again, I didn't purchase that with my own money. Love Every actually gifted that to us. But let's get right into the video. So if your baby is almost one years old, you're probably thinking about what to get him or her and how to make the most of your purchases because let's be honest, we probably have way too many baby things in our house and we don't want it to be too cluttered. And also if you're following more of the Montessori style play, play method, you don't really want to overwhelm them with too many toys and you want to do a nice toy rotation, which is what we do. And that's why I love the Love Every Play Kits. Um, I got him the 13, 14, 15 month one since he just turned one. It's called the Babbler and what I love about Love Every is that they always come with these play guides. So it's a Montessori inspired play kit that are developmentally appropriate for your baby's age range. So like I said this is a 13 14 15 month play kit and the guides just basically teach you how to interact with your baby how to play with the toys uh, all the things that it comes in the kit uh, how to teach them and teach them through play which is I think what all of us parents want is our babies to be able to play independently and learn while they're playing as well and not get bored and so I really love I love every toys are wooden for the most part very well thought out a research I don't have to worry about it, I just can rotate the toys in and out every week and he'll play with them. So let me just highlight a few of the toys for you that were in the kit. I thought this was the coolest out of all the kits so far because it had a lot of great toys that seemed very unique and things that I would want to play with almost. The first thing is this cute little bunny burrow. So they're supposed to learn how to go in and grab the bunnies and you can help them count. You can also put the bunnies in and out. Um, he, I think eventually they even carry it around, kind of like a little purse, so that's kind of cute. Uh, it also has this bigger puzzle with a lot of different baby faces on them. So right now he's at that stage where he just picks up the puzzle pieces. He hasn't learned how to put them back yet, but he likes looking at the faces on this one. This is another really cute one, so it's a box, but it comes with different tops. Right now I have the carrot top on, and they're supposed to learn how to put the carrots in the hole and also push them down into the box. It also comes with two other tops, so this one's for coins, and this one's for Q-tips, which helps with their fine motor skills. Now this one's also a big one. It's a ball drop, except they're supposed to push it on the top, and it goes down. And then they learn how to look for the ball by opening different flaps. Um, there's even one where they have to reach in and get it. So when he saw this, he really liked it because he likes to stand. And so he would pull himself up on it. And eventually he learned how to press the ball, which is amazing that babies, at first they don't know how to interact with the toys. And obviously this is for, you know, three months ahead. So he probably will discover new things about the toys each time he plays. With our seven and eight month play kit, he still plays with a lot of those toys because they discover new things about it each time. So if you're interested in purchasing the Love Every Play Kit, go ahead and click my link below. I do get compensated if you purchase through my affiliate link, but I would really appreciate the support. Thank you again to Love Every for sending us these toys, and I can't wait to see Ezra play with them. The next thing I got Ezra from Love Every also is this block kit. So I, I believe you can purchase sep this separately. It doesn't come in a play kit, but it's this huge box of blocks and there's even what was really cool like a threading block that you can use so it learns teaches kids how to thread and I like that it comes in this box that's very well organized and again even though this is for a little bit older babies um, obviously any kid will be very excited to see this and play with randomly colored blocks even if they don't understand how to fully play with it yet I think it's a good starter kit for him. Moving on to the non love every toys is this big cube from HAPE, I think that's how you pronounce it. So it's just an activity cube with different facets. I'm sure if you grew up, you remember playing with these things um, on the very top. And then over here, there's an area to put, to use a hammer and hit these balls. And then once you hit them, they go down these ramps. And now that he knows how to use the other toy, he understands how to press down the balls too. Um, there's also this little shape sorter so you put the shapes in here and then you pull the knob to have them released 
and then you can just keep putting them in. He just likes to gum the, the blocks. This is just like a little spinning thing that makes noise. And then this is like a little tracer with different colors and animals. I think it's a little too old for him now, but he still likes to look at them and when it makes noise, he pays attention. Also, if your baby is standing, they love to pull up on this. It's pretty sturdy. You definitely have to be near them, but um, they like to stand and play with the stuff on top. Now for some clothing items, I got him these pajama sets from Amazon. They're very soft. He hasn't worn them yet because they're in 2T, but um, I think these will be great for the more wintry times when it's a little warmer. So just a two-piece pajama set. And then he also got these Zara bodysuits. They came in different neutral colors for 12 to 18 months. And then the shorts from, I believe, Carter's on Amazon. I basically just try to think about what he might need coming up since it's going to be the winter time. And Ezra's a little smaller, so I figured these shorts would be good for now when it's still a little warmer, but also later in the springtime, he'll probably still be able to fit these. The next thing on the list is this sensory bin. So it basically is a kit that comes with both sand and water beads. I was really interested in trying out water beads. Um, it does say 3 plus, so I haven't given it to him yet. I think under really close revision to make sure he doesn't eat anything. Um, but they do have these little plastic, uh, sea, oh, it's a sea theme. So they have these little plastic toys inside that he's enjoyed playing with. Um, they're just little like sand toys. And then they also come with scoopers, which I thought was good because I know a lot of sensory play, the kids like to scoop things and pour things. So right now he just kind of, again, sort of chews on these things, but I think eventually he'll like it. And I'm, I'm really excited to try the water beads. I liked this kit because it came with everything that I was interested in for a, just a starter sensory bin. And it also came with the bin, which I didn't have since I don't have the Ikea sensory table. These are matching eggs, so it comes in this really cute egg carton, and there's 12 eggs. They, you, So the kids can play with them like this. Um, he recently likes to grab items and put them into a basket or take them out, so we do that. But eventually when he's older, he'll be able to match the eggs. So if you open the egg, each one has a color and a shape. So eventually they learn how to match the eggs with the colors, shapes, put them back together. So this is just sort of a matching toy. Another matching toy that I got him, which doesn't come together, so you have to buy them separately. I got him these plastic farm animals, and then I got him some uh, farm animal flashcards. So eventually when he's older, he'll basically learn to look at the rooster and find the rooster and match them together. So right now, I just put these out and then put the animal on top of them. And he, again, just likes to put the animals in his mouth, but Hopefully, eventually, he'll learn how to match the two animals together um, and also help with his vocabulary and learning how to say words and recognize words. The last thing that's not pictured is that the main gift we asked people to give was to contribute to a car seat fund. So Ezra is about to outgrow his infant car seat. Yes, he hasn't outgrown it yet because he's so small. So we, And I know car seats are expensive. And we thought the best way if people don't know what to get him or instead of giving him a physical gift because we have plenty of toys as you can see and plenty of clothes, really we would rather people to contribute to a car seat fund and that way we can buy a new car seat for him. So that was really the main gift, a lot of Amazon gift cards, Venmo money, um, if people felt comfortable and then if they wanted to give him an actual gift we had an Amazon wish list with all of these items on it except for the Love Every Play Kit and blocks. So I hope this inspired you guys on what to get your one-year-old for his or her birthday. Thank you again to Love Every for sending me a few of these gifts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!